What I'm going to show you is my version of the dialysis tubing experiment. So first I've got to make a Benedict's solution test and I've got a solution of Benedict's and glucose and I'm going to use Mountain Dew or Country Time Lemonade for that. Then I need a solution of Benedict's and starch and I will use spray starch just because it's less messy than the corn starch and it's easier to mix into water. Speaking of water, I'm going to use plain water. So I'm going to put those three things on a hot plate and I've got my water, starch, and glucose and you'll see that the glucose on the right turns brick orange and that is a positive test for sugar. The other two do not change. My next test is for starch and I will use iodine for that. In the glucose solution with iodine I get an amber color. With water I get an amber color which both indicates a negative test but starch turns a black uh, purplish bluish color leading to a positive test. So now let's run the experiment. So this is dialysis tubing and it is a tube so it is open on both ends so I'm going to tie a knot in one end and then I'm going to fill it with a glucose and starch solution and I'll tie a knot in the other end so it'll be sealed. And now I'm going to add iodine to this cup and now I will put in my bag. So now I'm going to let the bag sit and immediately I can see a color change occurring. This is sped up by the way and the bag is turning a purplish blackish color. So let's analyze our results. So if this bag turned a color like that, that means iodine must have made it into this bag to react with the starch to give it a positive test. And that is why it turned a purple black color. The outside of the bag or the cup stayed yellow so it is a negative test for starch. Starch did not get out of the bag, just iodine went into the bag. The final test we'll do is for sugar or glucose and if we test that yellow water by putting it into a Benedict's test we get a positive test. So that means glucose made it out of the bag. So in conclusion we've got iodine going into the bag, glucose going out of the bag, and starch staying in the bag. And the reason why certain things can leave and other things cannot is purely based on the size of the molecules and the size of the openings in that dialysis tubing or that bag. So starch is a large molecule, glucose and iodine are going to be smaller molecules and they fit through those openings or pores of that membrane or that bag. So it is considered semi-permeable. So that is the dialysis tubing experiment.